ba 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 This is the BSC Food Video Challenge Review. Hey, it's Jackhammer here for the Jackhammer Food Reviews. Today we are actually on the road. We're gonna place a mobile order at Outback Steakhouse, pick it up and see what it's all about. Now, truth be told, I haven't been to Outback Steakhouse in about 20 years, and that's not an exaggeration. I haven't been there in a couple decades. Uh, the only reason I am going is because uh, I was given this really nice gift card, so we're gonna, we're gonna go to Outback. So the first thing we went for was a six ounce Outback sirloin with lobster with a dressed baked potato and also lobster on the top. And the second thing we went for was a boomerang cheeseburger with a dressed baked potato and a Coca-Cola. The total came out to about $28. All right, we have arrived at Outback and I guess somebody comes out of here. All righty, hey, thanks so much. That was awesome. All right, cool, thanks a lot, you too. See ya. All right, so they are right on time. That was amazing. They said they quoted 20 minutes. That was 20 minutes, if not 19. Very impressed so far. Okay, we have our Outback finally home, and I am actually excited to see what is in the contents. Uh, they have, first of all, this bag, and there's a loaf of bread. Oh, and all of our accoutrement, so it has... Uh, Looks like a whole bunch of stuff. In the bag, there are two of the entrees. First is the Kid Berg. Here we go. Awesome, is the sirloin and the lobster, and it should be topped with crab. Oh wow, that actually looks good. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that actually looks good. I'm surprised. And it's a cheeseburger with the side of the potato. Okay, so all in all, here's the entire spread. Uh, they have baked potatoes that are quote unquote, what they call dressed, but it's just a, uh, a giant baked potato. And then they have your own um, kind of like chives and bacon and cheese that you uh, just do it yourself. Here is the bread in all of its glory from Outback to go. And I will say it is warm. It, all the food is still warm. Uh, so. A huge fail for Outback was that I paid extra money for a lobster and crab topping and notice that it is nowhere to be found. So it's supposed to be on the steak and it is nowhere to be found. Huh. Paid extra, did not get it. Well, the extra lobster topping notwithstanding, let's take a bite of the sirloin. It is supposed to be cooked medium and let's cut into it. You can tell actually it is pretty pink in the middle. It is cooked medium. Very good. All right, here we go. Outback Steakhouse, first time in two decades. It's a good beef flavor. I think that's what I would expect out of a sirloin. Not my favorite cut, but that's not Outback's fault. What is the lobster? Oh, wow. That is thick butter. Mm. All right, lobster, here we go. It's actually very good. Very, very, very good. Lobster is one of my favorite foods. That is excellent. So here's the problem. The loaded baked potato, just, it comes separated. So what am I supposed to do? It's not even cut open. We're gonna cut it open, put the stuff in, and then give it a go. All right, so we've added the stuff in, and we'll take a bite. Mm. It's an okay potato. It would be significantly better if it was already prepared and just ready to eat. I don't want to have to do this myself. That's why I ordered to go. Oof. Last but not least, the Kid Burger. Mmm. That patty is righteous. That is not good. The bun is good. That patty is disgusting. Holy cow. Oh. My goodness gracious. That's terrible. That is nasty. Okay, so an update is I called the restaurant and just let them know like, hey, service was excellent, the food tastes great, but we're missing the lobster topping. What they explained to me was that it's a website error. They don't actually even offer it at that location. So they're gonna send me a gift card back to my house. TBD on if that actually makes it, but at least they were trying to you know, remedy the situation and they were very nice about it. Again, the service was actually excellent. So very surprising to me that um, the product was that good. I expected good service, got good service, so that was kind of nice.
that wraps it up for the Jackhammer food reviews. I would give Outback Steakhouse to go a seven out of 10. I thought that was actually really good. It beat my expectations, which for me, I haven't been there in 20 years and it was actually really good and the service I think really was awesome. So thank you Outback Steakhouse. Uh, maybe it won't be another 20 years before I go back. I would highly recommend it. Actually, uh, hit like and subscribe below. We're gonna come to you with a whole bunch of different stuff all around the world. Today we are back in the United States and uh, just got car side to go. Uh, we will see you guys soon. Have a great day, bye.